Howdy, Guy Eastman here, and we're here at the range. Today we're going to do a little video on proper trigger squeeze and trigger pull. Very critical to accuracy and perfecting your shot. We're here with Dan Turvey, our managing editor, and Eastman's staff gun expert, and he's going to give us a little dissertation on three steps to good and proper trigger pull. Thanks, Guy. Proper trigger pull can be broken down into three simple steps. So the first step to proper trigger squeeze is actually placing your finger on the trigger properly. A lot of guys have a tendency they'll either put their finger too far off to the side or they'll deep hook it and they'll put it on the second pad of their finger. The proper position is you actually want your fingernail parallel to the front of the trigger. And instead of a squeeze, we're actually gonna press the trigger directly back to the back of the trigger guard. What that does is that keeps everything in line and prevents you from torquing the gun left or right and throwing your shot left or right. So the second part of proper trigger squeeze is once we have our finger placed properly on the front of the trigger and we start to apply pressure to the trigger, we need to anticipate the shot. A lot of people say let the shot surprise you and that's great for starters, but as you start to advance in your skills, you're gonna to wanna to anticipate when the rifle is actually gonna recoil and the key is, is not to flinch, obviously before the shot breaks. With this gun here in particular, we have a Savage and it has an AccuTrigger. What this AccuTrigger component is, is it acts as a safety. So you cannot fire the gun unless you engage the AccuTrigger first. It also has an adjustable trigger, which is one of the very few on the market where you can adjust the trigger poundage and the pull at home. So once we've engaged the trigger and we're applying pressure, we want to apply pressure directly in a straight line back to the back of the trigger guard. If you can visualize a line from the front of the trigger, to the back of the trigger guard, you wanna pull along that line, not left or right of it. If you do that, it'll cause you to throw your shots left or right. And then the third part and final part of the proper trigger pull is follow through. So after the shot breaks, you're gonna to wanna to keep the trigger pressed to the back of the guard and then release it. Usually I count to a thousand one count, release the trigger, cycle the round and get ready for the second shot. So now that we've got the three fundamentals of a proper trigger squeeze, we're gonna put that all together here and Guy's gonna squeeze off a few shots for us. There we have it. Those are some great tips and techniques that Dan showed us. You know, it's very important that you get to the range and get into a shooting routine so that when you're on the side of a mountain hunting, it becomes second nature and you don't have to think about those things. It's just ingrained in your shooting process. You know, my grandfather taught me how to shoot. When I was a little boy, he was a match grade shooter. I tried out for the US Olympic team and he showed me how to shoot and taught me everything that, uh, that he knew and I'll tell you, it's there's a lot of method and technique to it. Like he used to say, you almost put yourself in a trance. You want to hear your heartbeat through your own ears. Close out the outside world, focus on those crosshairs and that target. Take a deep breath, exhale it out nice and smooth and steady. And as soon as you get to the bottom of that exhale, you start squeezing that trigger and let it pop off right at the bottom. Uh, guys tend to, as soon as that shot goes off, jump up off the gun, jack another one in, look above the scope to see what's happening. You don't want to do that. You want to stick to that scope and uh, for at least a one count before you uh, come up off it. So these are just some good techniques. Hopefully it helps you become a better shot. Next fall you won't uh, miss a target and you'll be a much better shot. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting up some other great tips and tactics as the year goes along.